Hey y'all, it's another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton. Today I'm going to show you super easy, quick tutorial. You're going to copy and paste in a little bit of CSS. You don't have to know any code. You just need to be able to copy and paste. We're going to go ahead and make your Divi mobile navigation have a fixed header up at the top. I'm also going to show you how to change the hamburger icon to an X when it accordions open and a simple add of the word menu to that hamburger area allowing your users to easily identify that area as your top navigation. I'm going to show you all right now in this short tutorial. So whenever you're using the Divi Theme Builder, of course, you can have a fixed or a sticky header up there at the top, right? Make that header sticky. Have it stay with you on the screen the whole way down so that that navigation is always there. But what about doing that on mobile? How nice would it be for that to be the possibility inside of your mobile user experience as well? Let me show you what that could look like for you, and then I'm going to show you what code you need to make that happen. So here's a quick example of what that can look like. You see how that's just staying with the user all the way down the page, allowing them to easily and quickly get to that navigation, clicking on things, going to different pages quickly. You've got that number that they can click on, but all of that just stays on the screen no matter what. And it doesn't take up too much real estate. So it's a really nice user experience. We'll go ahead and exit the Visual Builder for now. And you'll want to go into your dashboard. And specifically, we'll want to go into Divi theme options. Now we're just going to add a little bit of code. If you scroll down to the bottom on this first panel, we'll get to an area for custom CSS. And this is where you're going to just copy and paste in the code that I'm going to provide for you. This little bit of code, very, very short little snippet area here, addresses everything in the media query, right? This is going to give us a media query option here. And it's going to say fixed navigation. And then this is specifically the mobile menu that we're speaking to there that we want to, again, give it a specific height. Then we're going to also add in, this is just a little bit of extra here. If you want the word menu added in on that mobile view, I think it's important to have that available to you. So we're going to put in the word menu after that. And um, this whole section here also changes the hamburger icon to an X when it's opened. So we're going to do quite a bit of customizing here inside of this mobile nav, but just pasting that in there and clicking save changes. And let me show you now what that looks like in mobile view. And now you'll see it right here. As we start to scroll down the page, you've got the word menu there with our hamburger. Once you click that open, it changes to an X. Very nice. You can choose another page easily. And of course, that's just going to stay on the page with us right here in that nice responsive mode. Hey y'all, I hope that helped you. This is a very short tutorial, but I also wanted to say happy pride to everybody as we wrap up June. I hope each and every one of you, no matter your pronouns, know that you are special and important and amazing because we are all human beings. Love each other, be kind to each other, and I will see y'all next WordPress Wednesday. Bye everyone.